What's up? This is Doug with Break Tech. Just wanted to make a quick video for you guys tonight. Um, showing off something cool that I ran across this week. This is the uh, new command line interface for uh, React, which basically allows you to quickly and easily create a React app. Um, it's sort of an opinionated version of React. It, it's, a cool, it's a cool way to start working on React apps without having to dig into like configuring Webpack and all that business. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, stick around. I'm going to go through this real quick. Um, my terminal of choice when using Windows Machine is um, Git, Git Bash, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that. Um, so first thing we need to do is just do the npm install, and we'll do a global install of create react app. Give that just a minute to install. Um, you do have to have Node and npm installed in order for this to work. Um, and if you don't, you can just go to um, to grab Node. There's, it's <laughs> if you don't know what Node is and you don't have it installed, go check it out. <laughs> um, beyond that, uh, I'm just gonna go into my web project directory, and we'll create a new project. And it's as simple as create React app, and then the name that you want your React app to have. Uh, we'll just call it hello world just like they did in the example that'll run through the scripts to install and create our react application and from there all we have to do is start up the development server um, the cool thing about the command line interface from facebook is that uh, they built in an escape hatch so you can uh, npm run eject removes the tool and then you have access to all the webpack settings um, you know you can you can do whatever you need to in your configuration files to you know turn your sample react app or your test react app into an actual react react app that you might want to deploy if you needed to add things that you, you know you couldn't get access to while you're using this simplified creation tool uh, let's see where we're at. Okay, looks like we're there. So we'll go ahead and CD into our hello world. And then just type npm start. Which should start up our React server and immediately open a window to localhost 3000, which is our React app. Uh, we can go ahead and open up Atom, which for some reason my icon isn't working since the most recent update on either of my computers. Um, but we'll go ahead and remove this folder and add the Hello World folder. And you can see what we get out of this creation tool. Um, what we get is a simple application um, source is where you're gonna see all the application files. Uh, we have an index.html which is basically just where we're going to render our React app into. And then um, in our source file, we have uh, index.js, which is the entry point for our React application. Um, all this does is import our application, our app uh, React component, which is where the heavy lifting of your application is, is probably going to be done. Um, and then render that to the, uh, to the DOM. Uh, and if you look into React or app.js, this is the actual uh, component um, that they've created for us uh, using React. Um, and all it is is uh, just some custom CSS to make their logo spin. Um, let's see if they even did anything else here. No. Um, so it's all pretty simple. Uh, all they did was uh, they did inject a little JavaScript. Um, into the source for that image, but other than that, this is just a pretty much a static HTML page that's loaded through this component and then um, you know imported into index.js and then displayed there into our into our HTML file. Um, but it gives you a really cool way to get started if you haven't already started playing with React. You probably should. It's everywhere. Um, I'll have some upcoming videos on uh, where to go from here. But thanks for watching. This has been Doug with Break Tech. And check back here for more videos soon. Thanks.